Welcome to the Rosanna Mod Variety Pod. This is your vessel and host, Rosanna Moduño, and here we go. Hey friends, this is Rosanna Moduño. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh please, come on. Nobody sends me flowers. But thank you so much for throwing them at me. I appreciate you. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> There's like nobody here. But you know what's funny is you really don't know. All this. I'm going to change. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to totally surprise you. I'm going to change up my audience sound. That's what I'm going to do. Put different sounding audiences so it's not always the same. Then you're going to be like, wait a minute. Is there really people in that studio or is she by herself? What does her studio look like? Have you ever looked at my studio? Have I posted post pictures, by the way? I didn't. I think I did. Oh, I did on a, on some podcast groups on Facebook. I don't think I've done it uh, on Instagram. I'm going to start posting photos of my um, studio so that you can see what it looks like. It's very homey. It doesn't look like an actual studio. It looks like an, I don't know. It looks nice. You should see it. I'll show you. Uh, this is episode 192, 192. And today I have a request that was emailed to me. Let me pull this up he or she gave me a really good idea, which sort of I answered, but not really. So it is goes like this. Dear Rosanna, I will be 72 years young next month and having a difficult time learning about technology. It scares me, but I want to work from home and get on speed with younger generation without being stressed out. How do you teach an old dog new tricks? I miss your bloopers. Will you bring those back soon? Okay, well, thank you for missing my bloopers. Let me attack that first. Will you bring back some? Yes, I will. I will. I have an entire file full of bloopers because believe it or not, I make a lot of mistakes. (laughs) One recording, very rarely do I speak a full episode without editing anything out. Usually I'll say, um, a lot, or I will say whatever a lot, or I'll cough or I'll breathe too heavy, or there's sounds in the background. Usually like now, I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's somebody's mowing a lawn or something. It's so early. And why are they doing that now? I just don't know. This place is ridiculous. It's so hard to find peace and quiet where I live. And let me just explain this to you. I will do the bloopers. I just don't know when. Maybe surprise you, okay? With that little clown horn that I had in the beginning. Okay. Now, uh, in getting back to his his or her email, Pat from Jersey City, New Jersey. Thank you, Pat, for sending me this. I have actually lived in Bayonne, as you know, if you've listened to my podcast. So I'm familiar with Jersey City. I know Bergen Avenue has a library, and that's the first place that I looked. Have you looked in your local library? Um, If you're trying to look for uh, learning about technology, you didn't really specify exactly what it is that you need to learn because you sent me an email. So that's pretty good. If you you know how to send an email, I mean, that really is basic, basic stuff. You'd be surprised how many people don't know how to work an email, really. So maybe somebody helped you. I don't know. You didn't say exactly what it is you need you want to work from home and get on speed with generation uh i'm a little confused simply because it depends on what the company needs from you so if they want you to do customer service you're going to need a landline phone most likely and a headset and a microphone so that would be the first thing i would do is look for your work from home and i do have episode 168 18 companies for older employees that would interest you. And if you're looking for work from home for seniors, all you have to do is learn how to search Google. I think that is the probably the main thing that people uh, do wrong. Uh, I'm going to use my mother as an example. She's 86 and she has her own Facebook. She has her, I mean, she knows how to work the IM, the messenger, the chat. She knows all that stuff because I've taught her. Play around, force yourself to read the actual things that you're going to click on so that you know where you are. So for example, uh, when I was looking for you, 
you know, seniors in technology, I went in to, I went into Google and I put, first of all, I put my location because you, your most places are going to teach you online right now because of the stupid pandemic crap that they're talking about. So most of it is going to be online. And if you don't know technology, you probably don't have a webcam. You probably are not sure how to use Zoom. I don't know if you do or not. That might be something that you want to learn though, because it's not as hard as you think it is. Okay. But in the search, I put in the location of where I am. So saying that you live in Jersey City, I put Jersey City, New Jersey, free computer classes in person for seniors. And I got a bunch of things. I got um, senior citizens online classes already. That's telling me online classes. That's not online learning that, or learning to be, work online. That's online classes, meaning the classes are online. They're not in person. I'm thinking you probably do better if you are in person. So you look for free computer training courses. You know, it doesn't have to be free. I don't know your situation. You could put, uh, here's one that I found, computer resources, www.nj.gov. And since they have nj.gov, for all of you guys that are listening out there who don't live in New Jersey, you would probably put in www.nj.gov fl.gov or ca.gov or md.gov or ri.gov wherever it is that you live I'm sure every state has its own place to learn things this training program offers classes on computer applications windows outlook excel and word to businesses and organizations throughout New Jersey and you can also look for senior resources you know senior citizen resources in your area in your specific area and then I looked in the library and that's where I got what I really think you should look at in the library. You go into, you know, Jersey City Library. But if you want to look online, if you know how to do it, you go into your search and you're going to put in www.jclibrary.org. And when you click on that, you're going to be taken to, I'm doing it now so you can hear little clicky sounds. You're going to be taken to this page. And it's got the picture of the library right there on Bergen Avenue. I'm sure you know where it is. I've actually been in that library quite a few times. And on the very top, next to the Jersey City Public Library, you're going to see all the things that you can click on. And you put your mouse, you're going to use your mouse and you're going to hover, which means you're going to put the, the little hour or the little hand on top of each of these things. And it's going to change color. They should change the color actually for this because it's very hard to see if you have a hard time with your eyes and if you're an elderly person from white to light blue is probably really hard to see. You might want to change that to a darker color. And uh, here it says a uh, catalog search, donate, calendar of events, digital services, library locations, and help center. So you have more than one option. You can go to catalog search, you can go to calendar of events, or you can go to help center. I would go to calendar of events. Click on that takes you to another page which is an actual calendar and then look at all the things that they offer here on Tuesdays the one that stood out was Tech Tuesdays hover on that and look guess what it says Tech Tuesdays is a program for any Jersey City free public library patron or staff member who wants to learn about the basic functions of their smartphones e-readers tablets and computers and how those devices can be used to access library resources please note Due to the coronavirus pandemic, <sighs> Tech Tuesdays will take place virtually. So, you know, but if it's going to be taken virtually, what's the point of going to the library, you ask? And I asked myself the same question. So my answer was, go to YouTube. <laughs> just go to YouTube. On YouTube, just write in, uh, you know, go to YouTube.com and then put in, in the search, learn basic computer skills for seniors. And you're going to have all of these wonderful resources for you. The one thing that I would advise is make sure that it's not too old. So right underneath each video, the title of the video, for example, this one, Computer Skills for Seniors, it says 1,009,000 views. Then next to it, it says 10 years ago. You might not want that one simply because in technology is always advancing and moving forward. Computers are always moving forward. Software is always changing. You might, you don't want to be left behind. And you said you wanted to keep up, right, with the new generation. So that's what you would look. Look for the newer ones. Here's one six days ago. No views. What? Basic computer skills for senior citizens. Let's, you know, let's give him a view. 
I understand what he's saying. I understand, but you might not, you might have a hard time understanding what he's saying, but he has very smartly added caption. So you can read it. I I like, you know, I'm going to give him his first like. That's right, Elise Cow. I've given you my first like. I'm going to give him a little comment too. So I mentioned him. I put, thank you. We need more videos like this for seniors. Mentioned you on my podcast this morning, Rosanna Mod Variety Pod. Why not? We need more like this. And this is only like six days ago. So really they should have more. The main reason being that this is so new and most of them are so old and they have a lot of computer courses from A to Z for beginners, which is okay too. But I think specifically for seniors, it makes a difference for beginner and seniors are two totally different things. You know, they have free computer classes for seniors five years ago. I mean, everything is so old. I would stick to the ones that are newer and then also just take bits and pieces from whatever it is that makes you feel comfortable. So if you find one that's comfortable for you and that you understand, you can read or, you you know, everybody learns in their own way, in their own different way. And also ask your friends and family. I mean, I'm sure you have some uh, family members that might be interested in teaching you and then also be curious. Keep yourself curious. Keep yourself looking and learning and actually going in and testing new things. You're not going to break the computer, you know, as long as you don't click on things that are not meant for you, as long as you know the basics of not clicking on unknown links, you know, that aren't meant to be clicked on because it could infect your computer. That's like the number one basic thing you should really know, right? Don't click on anything that you don't know that you didn't ask for that you don't any emails that say you just won five thousand dollars and click here for your you know please don't don't click on anything unless you know the person who's sending it like if it's your daughter or your son or your brother your sister or something and they're like hey it's me you know pat jr or whatever and i'm uh you know sending you this and if you know it's him or her you do it if not then please don't do it or you're going to infect your computer so that's like the basic number one rule But anything else, I would say, just go to YouTube. You're better off. Uh, Learn unless you do. Also, you know what? Oh, I just thought of something. Park. Park and Rec. Uh, Parks and Recreation. A lot of uh, programs for classes and stuff happen not only in the libraries, but also in Parks and Rec's departments. In the parks, they have little, you know, things. Let's see. Summer programs offered by Jersey City Department of Recreation. Yeah, Jersey City Tackle Football. Let me see. Youth Cricket. Adult Fitness. Jersey City Summer Programs. All right, well, jcfamilies.com has one summer programs offered by Jersey City Department of Work. All right, you can go in there. Jersey City Seniors uh, Learning. Programs for Seniors. Clandy.org. Programs for Aging Adults. Dorotusa.org. D-O-R-O-T-U-S-A.org. Join one of our programs for adults 65 and over. Current Connection and Community. There's another one. Um, Eldershelpers.org. Volunteer Match for Seniors. That might be an option. Maybe they have somebody who can teach you stuff. Senior Resources in New Jersey. www.nj211.org. Now, I know that that specific organization, 211.org, is for every state. So you, depending on where you live, you can go to 211.org and pull up your state and they'll find it there. Uh, JerseyCityNJ.gov has Division of Senior Affairs, and there's another one. So there you go. I am. I hope that that answered your question. I hope that that helps um, other senior citizens out there. And remember, episode 168, 18, Work From Home for Senior. You can also look that up online and YouTube, which they have really so many options there for you. Many jobs are looking for workers right now. And online, if you have the equipment, Uh, It's great. And also, if you don't have the equipment, keep in mind, there are a lot of companies who are going to give you the equipment. I know Apple does. Apple will give you a MacBook to work from home, in case you didn't know. Um, There are other companies. I don't have the list right now. You have to learn how to search is the thing. Try different ways to ask the question, to ask Google. Don't use words like fluffer words, fluff words, like filler words, like in, the, or and. Just put in what you need, you know, senior work or work from home jobs or senior remote jobs or remote jobs senior or learning computers seniors or my area or NJ or whatever state you live in. That's how you have to search. You have to use the hot words, you know, the words that are going to pull up in your Google search. That is all I have for you today. 
tomorrow for Wednesday Works, I will be talking about what I'm doing with journals, the Kindle journals, something that I found, a trick for you to do your covers. If that's what you're doing, I have sold one journal, but uh, in my defense, I don't have that many up. I only have maybe 25, 30. Uh, I ordered a few of them for samples just to see what they look like. And they look okay, but I got to tell you, I love the shiny, glossy cover much better than the matte. So that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow if you're interested. And thank you for visiting. Thank you for listening. I appreciate all of your emails. Really, thank you so much. Feeling the love. Feeling the love. Feeling the love. What am I doing? I'm feeling the love. What is that? Do you know what that is? That's called crazy. That's what that is. That's, you know what happens when I have really crappy coffee? I made myself some coffee and I put way too much milk in it. So it came out really light. I hate that. It's disgusting. So mad at myself for ruining it. Now I have to make another cup that's a little stronger. So if you want to send me your Bustelo coffees, please. P.O. Box 48701, St. Petersburg, Florida, 33743. Thank you very much and... I love you. <laughs> really, that is my address. I'm going to put my address up there, my P.O. box. Actually, I've gotten a couple of people from who have emailed me and asked me that they wanted to send me something. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's coffee, only because I've only mentioned coffee a hundred times. That's it for now. Thank you for stopping in. I love you guys so much. That's my kiss for you. And what do we say? How do we end it? Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and I'll talk to you soon. God bless you, and what do we say? Ciao.